Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Leno56 and welcome back to another episode of our Station Years playthrough on Mars. So since the last episode they did in fact release a new update to the game um, where they kind of revamped atmospherics, um, gases, and liquids. Uh, gases can now turn to liquids, liquids can now turn to gases depending on the pressure and the temperature. Um, so yeah, this is going to be kind of interesting. Uh, pipe volume change, would the DLA stations attempt to modify the contents of all pipe networks to prevent pipes bursting? Uh, yes. Modify the contents Um, yes. So we'll see how this goes. I've looked a little bit into it, um, haven't looked too much. Alright, so, so far everything seems good, except I'm... Um, I need some water, so we're going to go grab some water really quick, and then I'm going to go check our atmospheric systems and make sure everything's okay. There we go. Okay. Let's eat a little bit, and then we need to go uh, make sure everything's good in our in our base. Because the last thing I would want is to have a massive explosion. Whoa! All right, so there's not a whole lot of water in there. So, okay. So we're going to grab our tablet and check some of these pipes. Okay, um, what if I do this? Process moles 3.75. Pressure differential. Okay. So it's 28, 29, 21. So there's a lower pressure on this end versus this end, but this is only moving hardly any any moles through this pipe here. So I'm kind of wondering if I need something on the waste pipe in order, or yeah, the um, yeah, the waste pipe in order to start moving this stuff through faster. I'm not entirely sure, but there's less pressure here. There's more pressure here. Okay, so let's go make a pressure. I'll, what, what I'll try to do is place a pressure regulator right there and see if that does anything. Everything in here seems okay for the most part. Um, okay, so I need a pressure regulator. Air tank low. Air tank low. Pressure regulator, I need gold. Wait, do I have gold? I don't think I have any gold. Um... Okay, then. Well, that sounds insane. What can our pipes hold? That's okay here. Oh. Uh, 
Okay, so we just had an explosion, it looks like. Um, oh crap. Okay, so let's, um, let's go back in here really quick. We'll grab some of these pipes. Yep, there it is. Okay, so... Well, there goes all of our uh, pressure and gases. Okay, so... Everything else seems okay the only issue is why isn't this working like does there have to be something on this end right here actually I'm gonna do a test for a minute so we can put I'm gonna have to do a few things here okay so let's try how is this pipe well, that one's fine. Uh, let's grab this valve, because I think I can do a... Uh, I can just do a quick test and see if this will work or not. Okay, so that is doing something. So what if I do this? Forty-five MP, forty-eight, oh, forty-eight point five. Okay, so what is the pressure temp thing on those pipes? Um. Oh, I think I was already on pipes. Pipes. Okay. Um, sixty thousand seven hundred ninety-five kPa, which would be sixty MPa. So sixty MPa, and this is at forty-eight point six. So I think what I need is a. Okay, that's that pipe. Um. um So apparently they added a few other things too. So 48.2. Okay, I I'm going to um I'm going to turn our atmospheric system off in here really quick. Oh god. Um let's do this, this and turn off. Actually, you know what? Let's shove all of our uh All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Critical. Oh god. Oh god. Pressure critical. Whew. So this one works just, hmm, it's because there's probably more pressure on one end than this end, so that would make sense in that regard. Huh. Okay then, this isn't confusing at all. And I also want to continue doing our, uh, our arc furnaces over there too, but I need to kind of figure this part out first. Alright, so the pressure... Oh, so that's going down. Okay, so yeah, because so this is moving gas. It's only th moving 3.75 moles at one time, but it is, uh, in fact, moving gas. So that's something, I guess. I feel like a pressure regulator would be a little bit better. 
I'm not sure. I just know I need some gold. Ooh. Oh, I love that. It comes out already smelted. That's great. Okay. So let's go make a pressure regulator. Alright, so this is pressurized. Well, sort of. <clears throat> Alright, so we have a pressure regulator now. I'll probably have to end up expanding this at some point to kind of make way for a better uh, atmospheric system. What I'll probably end up doing, because I can't really expand that way, but I can expand um, this way, because I do plan on getting rid of our starter base once this gets a uh, little bit more stabilized. And then I also plan on expanding this way too, so I can kind of adjust the atmospherics room if needed. How's... So... 400 kPa, so we don't have any liquids in pipes yet, so that's a good thing. Right, so we have some nitrogen and oxygen in this pipe. Is it moving anything through here? Power low. Huh. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this change right now, but I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll see exactly how everything works. Let's put this stuff back, and then we'll do that. So let's just do um. Oh, okay, so that's doing something. Pressure differential. So, okay, that is in fact doing something here. So that seems to be dropping. Um, granted, this is just pressurizing. This isn't actually... Yeah, I'm kind of wondering how I want to do this because instead of doing my uh, draught system, how I just have it circulating the air, I've done that in every other base I've had, but I'm not sure with the new atmospherics update if I sh should do that or not. Um, because I guess I could leave that on pressure and it, it'll just pressurize then I don't really need that um, active vent over there. Um, hmm, we'll figure something out, but yeah, hopefully, yeah, because we had this pipe explode earlier. I think everything else looks okay. I'm just kind of messing with this to, because they um, changed the atmospherics uh, in the filtration system so instead of these just pumping gases like crazy they uh, it's all pressure stuff so if there's a higher pressure on this end and lower on this end it should pump it through but I'm not sure why I needed something on this end at that point unless it takes into account both of these that would I guess make sense 
Alright, but that is doing some... Yeah, so we are dropping in pressure on our main pipe here. So I think we're okay. Here, let's condense that. Let's do this. Alright, and that's dropping. So we have nitrogen and oxygen here. Let's see if I can't um, filter out the nitrogen too. So let's place this back for now. We're going to pull this floor up. Waste tank caution. Probably do a pressure regulator right there. Okay. So let's go grab another pressure regulator. Um, I'm going to put this valve back. Okay. It is a little hot in here, but I'm not too worried about it. You know what? I'm going to deal with one thing at a time right now. Do, 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 do. Okay. So let's throw that stuff there. Make sure we don't have a storm coming. Okay, we're good. Speaking of the storm, I have to de deal with my solar panels too because they took damage and. Yeah, I don't know. So if I do this, back pressure regulator, let's just do 1050 kPa. Oh, turn on. Filter low. Hmm, okay. So... What the heck? Eleven point three. Eleven point. All right, so it's dropping. I'm so confused because these pressure these uh, pressure regulators used to work fantastically. Now they just. All right, so the less that we have in here, the less pressure differential, which means that there's less gases going through these systems. I'm just slightly confused on like this portion here. Because for this one, the pressure is, well, it's actually fairly close now. All right, so the moles are going down for our nitrogen. Hmm. I don't know. I, I guess we'll see if that works or not. So I'm going to have to do a test and see. And I'm also going to have to make it so... I mean, I have unlimited iron, so I'm not really worried about our filters, honestly. So, I mean, I guess I could keep these on all the time. The logic I wrote me... Um, was for the old atmospherics. This new one, I'm gonna have to come up with something different. But so let's turn um, our draught our um, setting on here, so it'll cycle all the air around our room. All right, and that sh and this should keep it. Um, Hydration critical. Oh God. Okay. And this should, uh, that should keep our, uh, when we have gases and stuff, it, they'll just uh, cycle through our system here. All right, so the, in, so the number of moles is increasing. Okay, this one's the same, but this is only oxygen in here. That is going up. But as this 
increases in pressure, this should increase in the transfer rate. I'm kind of wondering if I'll have to place like a volume pump or something here. I think that's another thing they changed was the, the volume pumps. Oh, it only goes up to 10. Wow, that sucks. Okay. So moving a bunch of gas is not possible anymore, apparently. Because the old volume pumps were 100, and the turbos, you can move about 1,000 um, kPa of gas. But if they reduce that by t 10 by a... Uh, or they basically divide it by... Oh, did I not plant that? I thought I did. I mean, at least our starter base is still good. I mean, we'll figure out our, our main base here. I just want to make sure that I don't do anything really bad with the atmospherics room because... I would love to not have a massive explosion. That'd be great. I mean, we technically already had an, an explosion. It was just one of our uh, our pipes burst. See, this doesn't help me now. So there's only 1.8 kPa of pressure. 16. I'm so confused. All right, and I also need to swap my battery out here. So how is everything over here? All right, so it's moving quite a few moles over here. This really hasn't increased too much. Like I said, uh, these pipes can hold 60 MPA of pressure, which is quite a bit. Like I said, as this increases in pressure, the transfer rate should increase as well. So I think so far... I wonder how these pipes are doing here. One point six, so that's about what that's set at. One point six or two point six nine. Is that dropping? Oh, wait a minute. Two point twenty three point eight. Okay, I am so confused right now. What? So the the back pressure regulator. If if I set it to ten fifty kPa, it should leave ten fifty kPa in here and pump the rest of it through here. But the pressure in our pipe is actually going up when it should be going down. But this one is working. Oh, I bet you I know what it has. Um, okay then, let me, um, all right, we're, we're, we're about halfway there for pressure. Okay, I think I have an idea on why. Because there's no nitrogen moving through. But there should be, the oxygen should be moving through here anyways. I don't know, I think they messed up these uh, filtration systems myself. So I think what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to place a, uh, well, I have an active, no, I'm not going to use that one over there. I'm going to make an active vent and place it, and we'll see if that'll, in fact, fix our little um, issue here. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm just kind of, you know, let's make two of them because I might want one for my, uh, okay, oops, all right, so let's do this, I mean, we're actually pretty pressurized in here, it's extremely loud in here though. All right, so if I place an active vent here, I'll probably place one here too, j just cause. Um, okay, let's grab pipe, let's grab the wrench. All right. So let's grab our cable and we're going to cable this together. All right, that just kind of threw our whole system off a little bit. Okay, so I don't want to do this too much though. Oh god. It's going down. We're good. We're good. Stress. Okay, so I'm not going to do that with this. <laughs> Alright, so the uh, new plan. Oxygen low. God, my oxygen is going down so fast. Oh, that was actually... Alright, so I'm going to have to do something else here. So maybe not an... So maybe not an active event. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to expand my atmospheric space out. Well, maybe I won't. Because what I could do, if I place a pressure regulator here, place a normal vent, I wonder if that'll do the trick. Just making sure we don't have a storm coming out. I can't remember when the last time we had a storm was. 29.9 moles, we're up to 20. Okay, so that's actually moving quite a bit of uh, gas through there. Um, so let's grab, I'm gonna test it with this. So we'll grab a one passive vent and a pressure regulator and see if we can't push. I mean, I don't really need it in this system though, but I'll probably place it just cause. Okay, um, place that there. All right, so let's do, hey, I have two passive events right here. Pretty sure they're meant for in there, but, oh no, I already have them in there, Never mind. Um, I need two pressure regulators, don't I? Copper, so let's do REG, regulator. I need, oh, I have copper, no. Yeah, that's copper. I need iron now though. So do I have any iron laying around anywhere? No, so I'm gonna have to go get some, get some iron. So let's go get some iron really quick.
All right, so let's do. Let's grab just one stack of iron. That's all I really need. Um, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so let's do. Oh, no. Okay then, um, um, <laughs> right as I did that too, um, copper, nickel, iron, nickel, that's iron, um, gold, silver, iron, lead, nothing for copper, iron, copper, steel, cobalt, Oh uh, no. So that sucks. Um, I am going to have to make a centrifuge. Uh, you know what I can do actually? Let's turn off. Oh, this one is off. Oh, all of these are, oh, that, I did it because I was going to mess with our, um, you know what, that's fine. So, let's, um, I have shoots in here, don't I? Yeah, I do. So, we're going to go grab some shoots because I made a huge mistake um, right there. I mixed our copper with our iron. And now, if I I can't smelt that, and there's not there's no um, ingot or alloy that uses copper and iron. So what we're gonna do is I'm just going to place a shoot inlet right here. Let's do this. there and now <laughs> what I'm gonna have to do oh that just makes me so sad in 50s really whatever okay This might take a while. All right, we're almost done. All right, we're still good on storms. Throw this stuff in there. Okay. We should need two more. I completely. I knew I was gonna do that too. I think in the episode where I actually uh, put the the copper in there. Oh. So this is full. I guess what I can do is just put it here for now. So now that that's empty, let's grab it, some iron. We'll just do a uh, uh, hundred iron right now. Oh man! Right when I put that in there and saw that, I was like, no. Alright. 
So now, now that I have the iron, I'm gonna make a couple more pressure regulators. Yeah, I was watching a little bit on the new um, atmospherics update and I was watching a few YouTube videos and I'm glad I didn't have a more complex system because some of those bases completely exploded. That's kind of why I originally designed the system um, this way, but God, it's like wait, just it's so loud in this room when when these uh, air vents are going. Okay, did I make three of them? Ah, I can always use them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that, do this. Um, pressure valve, per purge, pressure rate. What's a pressure in valve? Pressure in valve. We have pumps gas into a liquid pipe in order to raise the pressure. Okay. Purge. Allows for removal of pressure in gas and evaporated liquids from a liquid pipe. So, okay, so if I have gases in a liquid pipe, I can purge it. Hunger. Caution. So we we just want a pressure regulator. So two pressure regulators. And then I need to grab All right. And then let's place this here. Let's put that here. Oh, that works. Okay. Sure. Welding torch and two plastic sheets. I keep I, I keep um thinking well I don't want to use up my resources, but I have bunch of resources so we want a, def a pressure differential here so let's do we'll just do that so let's see if this is working I mean that the temperature is dropping or I guess increasing because it's hotter here so all right so we'll do 2050. Hmm. I wonder if it's because we need nitrogen in our system in order to actually start pushing stuff through. But that still doesn't make sense why the pressure why the back pressure regulator isn't working right. Like there should only be 1050 kPa in here, not 26 MPa. Hydration critical. I don't know. I think they need to kind of fix th that. Because this one's working just fine. Pressure critical. Oxygen critical. I accidentally opened my helmet before. <laughs> So it looks like everything else in our system is okay for the most part. Um, I'm just going to have to play around with it quite a bit, but I think 
Our system should be okay for the most part. I'll probably have to make them more elaborate in a, a little bit bigger atmospherics room and everything. Oops, let's put this back. I want to test my theory out really quick though. So we're going to go mine some oxide. Or not some oxide, but some nitrous. I don't really want to mine that node right there. I think there's a node somewhere in here that I can tap into. Or maybe there isn't. You know, they actually need to fix the um, the visual glitch because there was some right over here. There it is. Stack of nitrous. So you know what? Well, the whole reason I turned our system off is because I was gonna actually do our iron. Which, if I can kind of figure this out, I'm actually gonna move on and actually do our silo over there. All right. So let's test my theory out here. Wait a minute. So I think I need to make this I'm so confused right now. Like they completely changed everything here and nothing is... Okay, so do I have to place some sort of a... Uh... I guess I could do a volume pump and see if that works. Because I have no idea if this is going to work here. Okay, so do I even have a volume pump? I can probably make one. So let's do volume. Volume pump. Okay. So they did change this, unfortunately. It kind of sucks now. But, I guess we'll see. So if I place a volume pump
You could do it like this. Let's do... There we go, okay. Man, I have no idea why this isn't working. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, yes, this is my series on YouTube. I'm just trying to figure out the, uh, the atmospheric stuff since they updated the game a couple, I think it was two days ago that they did it. All right, so we have some pollutant in here. Not sure why this is not working properly. How are you liking it so far? 9.8, all right, so it is dropping, so I think this 3.7, no, well, I'm so confused on this. Oh, well, thank you. 40, okay, I'm gonna have to do something here because this is gonna burst. Okay, I'm not sure what is happening right here, so let's, um, that kind of messed everything up for us. Is it because I placed these right here? I mean, that can't be it, but let's do a little test. Nope, still increasing. Yeah, so these um these regulators aren't actually doing anything. Okay, um, what if I turn these off? All right, that's increasing way too much. Oh, no. All right, the, this one's dropping, I think. 54.5, come on, drop. Please drop. 46, okay, I, I th I'm not entirely sure what's happening right here, but these, these pressure regulators are not pumping gases like like they should. So, 
50. Oh, that's good. So we ran out of power. Yeah, I'm gonna have to build more solar panels apparently. It's because these are, these systems are on constantly right now because I'm trying to figure this out. Where's my tablet? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure right um I think they messed with the uh the pressure regulators and all like the volume pumps and everything cuz nothing's working at like I don't know how what to I guess what I could do I mean I can't really do it right now I have to wait till the power turns on but I could always place a volume pump right here. I don't know if that would work though. The damage is due to the presence of liquid. Damage by an overpressure event. So yeah, let's um, adjust our solar panel so we can at least get power when the sun rises. So we're going to adjust just this front row here because once this front row receives sun, the rest of these uh, should start working properly. And then I need to actually get some more solar panels and get some more power going and try to figure out our uh, at new the new atmospheric stuff because I'm not entirely sure why none of this is working properly when it should be. You know what I could do? I could hook this um, atmospherics room up to my uh, battery right here just so this actually never turns off. That would be a viable option. Or I could actually hook this generator up to my main power. Hmm, let's try it. So let's just bring it down like... So it can't be this one. So yeah, we're gonna do that. So I need to actually <laughs> not do this. I could do well. I guess I can adjust this slightly because I don't really want to have any power issues right now since I'm trying to deal with the atmospheric stuff. So we're going to do this. 
Um. Wow. Okay, yeah, like this. There we go. All right, so we'll delete this, delete that. And then we'll have another main power cable running th like this. I'm just gonna hook it up to our generator here. Power critical. Yep, I will fix that, don't worry. Okay, so let's do... Alright, so that is charging it. And actually what I can do well that would generate feedback Close this for now because that's where our pipe busted. It's like it's just singing in here. 46.8, 54.5, so it's not going up. It was when I turned this on. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure why this isn't working. I mean, there's liquid in this pipe here, but that's because the temperature is a little too high in here. Fifty four point five, forty six point six. Yeah, I, I'm I'm not sure why this is not working properly. Um, this pressure regulator should actually be pumping gas. I'm not sure why that's not working. Um, but we're gonna go drink some water and then I'm gonna work on our arc furnaces and stuff but yeah I'm not sure why the pressure that back pressure regulator is not working how it's supposed to because from what I can tell it, it's not working and that's why I have not deleted my starter base entirely yet Oh, oops. Decay completely in one hour. Let me eat the last one percent. Let me eat it. Alright, fine. You can decay if you want. Okay, so I want to figure our iron out really quick, too. I'll probably just end up smelting all that iron, you know, since I have this. Before I forget. God, my oxygen's almost gone. There we go. 
That is loud. Okay, you guys are all full. <laughs> I just don't want this to, like, just blow up on us. 40... Oh! I think this, I think this one's dropping. Still, still isn't working right. Yeah, so I, I'm not sure. I'll have to um, kind of figure out how to, to do that. I want to readjust these silos, though. How much copper do we have in here? Not a whole lot. So much iron. Alright, so this is actually processing stuff fairly quick. So I'm gonna have to... Yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna smelt all this copper that I have currently. Yeah, I'm not sure why those back pressure regulators aren't actually working. Like, 1050 kPa should be in this pipe, and everything else should be in this pipe. I'm not sure why it's not working, but I feel like something is wrong or something's buggy, or I'm not entirely sure what's going on with it. So, I do. Like, there's less, there's less pressure in this pipe here. There's quite a bit of pressure in this pipe. Actually, let's try, let's do this really quick. I'm going to try something. Okay, so I'm just pumping all of our gas into in, in, into the room here. Filters working series. Yeah, so I'll probably have to redo all this then. Especially if, if if it's in series, so I'm gonna have to com completely redo our atmospherics. I'm gonna do a couple of tests before I actually do that, though. But if that's the case, then should be easy enough to fix. Although we're not hearing clanking a anymore. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna definitely test that out. Um, if I have to do it in um, series and not in parallel, then I'll absolutely do that. Should be easy enough to actually uh, to do. All right, so we actually have stuff flowing currently. It was kind of when I turned that on is when everything. All right, and, and this is dropping too. So I'm not entirely sure. I'm gonna have to kind of completely redo our system here. But if if it works in series and not parallel, then I have a pretty good idea on how to fix that. So let's just throw that here. Um, while while we're figuring this out, I'm actually gonna st 
start working on this. I know, it's honestly just horrible. Yeah, I was watching uh, one video where a base just got completely destroyed from it. You know what, I'm gonna do this between episodes. I'm gonna do that iron between. Um, this one's easy enough to do. Two, three, four. Okay, so let's throw all this silver in our furnace here. Yeah, and one one change that they did that kind of is extremely irritating is the volume pumps. Like these used to go up to 100, now they go up to 10, and the turbo pumps, I believe, will probably go up to 100 and not 10. Like that was a, uh, I don't like that change, but that's just me. I'm sure it's, they did it for a particular reason. Okay, so this is almost done. I'm gonna smelt this before I uh, forget it's in there, so I, I I don't have the copper iron um, problem that I had. Okay. Do they? Yeah, I I haven't actually um, messed with the turbo pumps yet, so I'm not sure. All right. So let's adjust this silo here and then we'll start, we'll continue doing our, our arc furnaces. I'm also going to have to um, figure out the coal generator to hook it to our power here. I mean, I can easily do that. That's, that's really not a big deal. So I believe, if I remember correctly, I need a wrench. A wrench and then I need that. And then a hand drill. All right. There we go. So let's redo the cables just slightly. Might as well just do that. Oh, thanks for the follow. Uh, let's do, we'll just do that right there, okay. Turn that on, and then we'll grab our arc furnace, since I have three of them in my inventory. And then I have everything else um, turned off on our mining platform right here. There's that, there's that. All right, so it's gonna be a little bit before actually, before this one works, but we don't really get a whole lot of silver. There's actually, silicone will be one a, a nice one to have. 
All right, so I'm gonna need a little bit more uh, cable, I think. Oh, that's because I have that one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, so between episodes, I'm actually gonna um, do our iron silo and get all the iron out of there since there's an ungodly amount. And then I'm gonna mess with our atmospherics and figure out the best way to do it, and then I'll actually do it in the next episode. Well, we'll see. I might just do that and see if, see if it works or not. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm pretty happy my uh, atmospheric system was not as complex as it could have been. That would have been horrible. Yeah, I have to completely redo all this. So I was just kind of messing around with it and seeing what would work, what wouldn't work, and apparently if it runs in the series though, that makes complete sense. I mean, everything else, I mean, these do process, like, a little bit of mole, uh, 3.7 moles, like, just normally. So, I mean, it does filter just very, very, very slow. <laughs> There's one KPA pressure in there. Okay. At least we'll have a bunch of um, resources after doing redoing all, all of our silos. Boom, there we go. All right, I'm actually gonna vent all this stuff out right now while it's still kind of hot in there. All right, so let's do the silicone silo. And then the rest of these, I'm not too worried about. Like there's not a whole... Yeah, and that's kind of what I figured too, which I guess it's more realistic, I suppose, but it's just slightly annoying. Because, like you said, a bunch of uh, people have their bases just completely obliterated. I know, right when I saw that there was an atmosphere accepted, I was like, oh no. We've survived 77 days without dying. I feel accomplished. No, they don't, not at all. Okay, so we'll do that, we'll do this. I mean, it's a lot more realistic having, um, you know, gases turn to liquids in a certain pressure and temperature and then where it can turn to ice in another, but I feel like they could have explained it slightly better, like you said. So I'm going to turn our system back on here. Um, I'm not too worried about these ones. I'll, I'll do these ones eventually, but um, these main ones are the ones that I really needed the ingots for, and this iron I'm going to do in between episodes because that's going to be extremely boring to watch. I 
I could almost put put like a master power button, but I really I'll probably never do that after I, I adjust the silo, so there's really no point, but I guess I could do it just to do it. Alright, so 78 iron. That's just not a whole lot of iron. I guess what I could do now is actually work on our atmospherics. If it runs in series, because I can't really do anything else um, on the base until I get the atmospherics figured out. So let's do... We're going to completely redo our atmospheric system here and do a little bit of a test. Oops, wrong one. And then before I forget, because I want um, this generator here to also power these um, batteries up there, I'm going to... I'm going to have to do this carefully because I don't want to cause a feedback loop. Power low. Yeah, so I'm going to have to figure that out. I'm not too worried about it right now. Alright, so... You know, let's just turn our system completely off. It's probably the safest thing to do. Hydration critical. Jeez, everything at once, apparently. So, if it runs in series and not in parallel, I'm going to have to adjust where our, uh, our waste pipe goes. Well, maybe not. Actually, I have a pretty good idea on how to do this. That there, that there. And then I'm gonna need a bunch of pipe. So I'm gonna go and grab all our piping. And I'm gonna grab these because these are just gonna go flying. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. I can drop this over here. Um, I don't need this other arc furnace in my inventory right now. Okay, I think we're good. Although before I actually start this, I'm actually going to go fill up our, uh, our water and stuff because I don't want to hear that the whole time. There we go. I'm just glad I didn't have to redo anything on my starter base here, because like the um, the oxygen filter and everything works perfectly still. Oh, thank God it didn't actually. Did I forget my water bottle? I did. Crap. Oxygen critical. The whole reason I came in here was for water, and I forgot my water. There we go. <laughs> Alright. I'm so happy I did not delete my starter base. <clears throat> okay, so I think what we're going to do, since it's going to run in series... This is actually making me kind of nervous, too. So let's do this. Let's put this in this hand. Oh, I think that's a shadow. So then it's gonna. I guess I could have. Well. That's how I want to do this. Alright, yeah, so we'll do 
I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit for this cable here. So let's do like that. Then we'll grab this and we'll... There we go. Alright. So our piping network is going to start here and then just kind of go through our system like that. So All right, so now I can actually delete all of these pressure regulators that I made. That's kind of sad. Granted, I have unlimited resources, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Thanks to my mining platform over there. Okay. And actually, I have to get rid of that one. So this one's going to go like this. That one's going to go like that. Okay, so we'll see how this works. I have way too much pipe. And I shouldn't really need anything here, but I guess I could connect this. I could connect this back up to our... Uh, I guess I could do that really. Since it's in series, it doesn't really matter. It can just be a continuous loop now that I think about it. Okay. Yep. Just like it. Um, just like it was um, on everything except this one was working fine but then when I was messing with this because I put nitrous in here to see if I could get two of them going that's when I ran into, it ran into my whole issue so all right this is making me a little bit nervous but let's do this well let's start from here Oh, we got pressure and we have stuff going through our system. Okay, so stuff is actually happening here. So there is nitrogen here, but it should filter itself out. Yeah, it's just it's just oxygen and, and nitrogen in these pipes right now, but that's just because that's what I, I already had in there. So I think we should be okay. Yeah, if I would have left it in parallel, I would have had to come up with a crazy complex system. So this does make it quite a bit easier, and it's in, in my same footprint too, which I kind of like. So I guess what I could do is... Now, if I turn this back on to draw it, 
so it cycles my air. I wonder how that's going to affect all this. Also, before I forget, I'm going to uh, actually have to go in here anyways. Because I, I want to hook our, that generator up to our, uh, our batteries up on top of our main base so I don't run out of power. Oh, I was like, what's that sound? That's this thing. Okay, so. I think it's. Alright. We'll see how this is working. All right, it is increasing, but this is also increasing too. So in theory, as this pressure increases in this pipe, these one, the, the flow rate should increase, so everything will hopefully work. All right, there's nothing in this pipe. It's just oxygen here. Oh, that's awesome. A little bit of nitrogen. So it's slowly increasing, but this should also increase as the uh, the pressure in our main, I guess our waste pipe increases. Yeah, I was kind of playing with the idea of uh, maybe adding like a, uh, or just for the time being, add like a volume pump right here and just have really low pressure in this pipe. But the volume pumps don't move gas nearly as much as they used to, so I'm not sure how that would work. That is actually increasing fairly quick. I'm not too worried because I can just turn that off in there, but I just want to see if our system can handle it. Or if it like uh, stabilizes at some point. There's 2.17 of pressure in here. 7.5. So it is slowly going up. Yeah, I think they just, I don't know. Cause that's increasing. Hmm. I can't tell if it's slowing down or not. I don't think it is. So I might have to come up with, uh, figure out something to make this actually flow a little bit quicker. Cause this one is actually flowing quite fast. 26, 17, Thirty-six. Yeah, but the the pressure also means um, these pipes can only hold about sixty MPa of pressure. So I don't want the pressure to get too high. So I'll probably have to come up with some sort of system because I would like to have my uh, air just flowing all the time, especially in my hydroponics area. Once I get that all set up. To filter all those gases out, but I think for right now, what I'm going to do 
is just turn off the draught and just have it as um, pressure right now. And I also need to throw some oxide in here or something because it's... Yeah, so we'll just do this for now. Just so I, I don't have to worry about those pipes bursting. Ten, nineteen, twenty-nine. Yeah, and this should slowly start to decrease now. Yeah, I'm gonna kinda mess around with it a little bit, but what I kinda wanna do is hook my generator up to these uh Well I mean technically every time it's probably fine really, because every time uh this generator turns on it'll power Yeah, so it's turning on faster because it's powering those as well, so that's probably fine. What I'm going to do is swap out our batteries here, though. So I guess I don't really need these cable on me. So I kind of want to figure out how to keep my system on in there and have it go through our system here. I probably need to put in some sort of pressure relief valve or something in here. Or, I, I guess I could try the volume pump idea too. So there's like nothing in this first pipe, and then it just pumps everything into our pipe network. I don't know if that would uh, do it or not. Let's see. That is dropping. So, So this system does work. I just have to figure out how to actually make it flow a little bit quicker. Try to get higher pressure on this side. There has to be a way to do that. Yeah, I'm going to have to play with it a, a little bit more. But I guess uh, while we're trying to figure this out, what I'm going to do is actually keep working on, on our hydroponics bay here while uh, we have a little bit of time remaining. So let's do this because our system's working. Everything's doing pretty well. I would just like to have um, our system circulate the air, but it doesn't have to be an immediate priority right now. Let's see, let's do this, oops, that and that, this one will do this, you know what I should have grabbed while I was in there, I have a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of uh, cable coil from when I had to completely redo my Oh, thank you. You know what? I'm going to move this stuff because with my luck, I'm going to walk in here and then like shoot forward and just damage my suit. Okay, so I need... <laughs> I just have a few stacks. I'm going to scrap two of them for now. Yeah, I was originally going to do a like a smelting room over here, but I came up with the idea of having the arc furnaces just behind our, our uh, sorters and stackers here and just automatically smelt the ores that goes into it. So it kind of takes the, uh, the smelting room just out of the equation completely. What, I'm, what I think I'm going to do is ma make a, um, a trader platform right here. And then I'm going to connect all of these silos to vending machines that are connected to our trader platform so then I can just sell the excess ores that I have or don't need. And I can work on that anytime too. I just want to finish wiring this up. So we're going to have this. 
run along the top like this, similar to how it is in our, um, our pressurized room. also make it so it comes around like this so we have connections on the floor perfect okay so let's make sure you know what let's do this we'll do just 49 right uh, below 5,000 Perfect, we have power. So now what I need are some doors. Um, I need to place the windows in here. Um, I need the rest of the plastic sheets and place the walls. And then I could probably start pressurizing this ba uh, this area as well. Um, but this is gonna be, be pure CO2 as of right now, which I think I have enough CO2 in here. Yeah, that's quite a bit. So what I'm going to do next is grab, I need to make a couple of doors, I need to grab some windows, some plastic sheets. Alright, so for doors, I think I have all my resources in this. I think I have more copper on me. I'm just going to throw it all in here. All right. I know there's not enough pressure in that pollutant pipe. All right, so let's do door. Hydration critical. Again. Hunger caution. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's two doors. Let's see, I need 17 windows and what was like 21, 24 plastic? Two, four, six, eight, plus seven. Oh, I already have plastic on those ones. So just, yeah, I have more than enough. And let's grab some glass, 18 glass. That will work. I'm just making sure that the consoles have uh, what they needed to. There we go. Alright. So what we're gonna do first is we're just gonna place the one door right now. I'm gonna get this all pressurized and then we'll dismantle this window once this door is uh, finished. Yeah, I do have a series on um, YouTube. It's actually the, um, this series in playthrough right now. Yeah, uh, I kind of started off just building the starter base there, and then once that was done, I started on this one. But I, I was going to completely dismantle it. I'm glad I did not because of the atmospherics update that they did. Okay. So that's good there. So this should be pressurized once I place that window. And then, so I can't really remember, do I need, oh, I think I need this, don't I? And then a crowbar and two glass sheets, which is apparently exactly what I had. Let's do this. Perfect. All right, so I can actually throw that in here. I was going to grab a window, but I need, I, I need one more sheet of glass. 
one more sheet of glass is all I needed. Dang it. I have so much silicone. That is literally all I needed for that. And then I'm also going to go uh, eat and drink too. Okay. So. Come on, let me place it. Alright. So. Inward. Set inward, outward. Okay. Oh, my data disk is in there. Okay. So now. Waste tank caution. Okay. And then I can dismantle this. And I can dismantle the wall. Perfect. Let's place the door. Let's see here. Do I have, I need what, two sheets of glass? So I need one more. Yes, I know. I'm dying of dehydration right now. Wait, where's my other piece of glass? There it is. Perfect. All right. Let's go and actually. Uh... God, that kind of shoved me in there, didn't it? Come on. Let me out. I need to drink. Okay, we're good. And potato seeds, perfect. good I feel I feel better although I'm slightly damaged I do have a um, that health pill over there so I'm not completely worried by it but we did take a little bit of damage nope there it goes we're back up now okay I'm kind of surprised we haven't had a storm yet how's our system here doing 82 iron 82 stacks of iron. Oh, I love how this is all um, smelted ingots too. That make that's gonna make it so nice. Oh, our uh, our uh, filtration machine's actually turned off. Okay then. So that'll conserve power. Okay, so that's good there. So. We're going to attempt to turn on this. Yeah, I really want to do the draught. Um, all right, so exterior, let's do exterior, interior. Well, So this is interior, yeah, so I want these reversed. So we want exterior, no, exterior, interior. Okay. And then the exterior active vent is you, the interior active vent is you, and the sensor. And then I just do this. Feel like I need a piece of flooring in here. Okay. 
Perfect. Alright. So let's do... Outward vent, inward vent, and sensor. Ooh, that's a little warm. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go grab some um, ice and stuff and to throw in there. Because that's a little warm in there. I'm also gonna do it in uh, our system here, too. I don't know why I took that out. Yeah, let's just throw that there. Yeah, let's go mine some um, oxide. Just so I can kind of cool down our, our system. And I'm gonna have to come up with a proper uh, cooling system, too. Because with the atmospherics update, I'm probably not going to use the wall coolers too much. Alright, maybe I can actually see the ores now. Alright, so there's some ox, or that's a nitrous. There's iron, I don't need iron. I think there was a bunch of oxide in um, one of the uh, deposits up here that I was mining out. Kind of sucks because half the time the ores don't even appear, so you can't actually see them. Come on. I know. I, I know that there's some over here. Yeah, there's our base. Guess I could have waited till morning to do this too. Now that I think about it. Come on. Yeah, I need to make the mining glasses. Um, I just need to start making advanced alloys. I was going to start doing that here pretty soon, but with the whole uh, atmospheric stuff, I was like, nope. Ooh, water. I'll take some water. Yeah, no, those mining glasses are just absolutely amazing. So, like, I've gotten them before, so I know how to get them. I just haven't done it in uh, this. My main thing was to get this heavy mining drill, because before I had the mining platform built, um, I was mining all the time. Yeah, I I play and then I come back ever every once in a while once they uh, do some pretty big updates. Is there not a single thing of oxide anywhere? Just kind of I've probably ran past a bunch of it too already. You know what? I'll just wait till morning because I can't see anything, and half the time you can't even see the ores. I guess you know what I can do while we're waiting is I can start to work our, on our um because I'm not going to actually do our, our hydroponics yet in there but what I can do is I can start working on our trader platform too so we can get that up and running and I have plenty of steel so I should be fine um do I really want to throw water in our system here yep Okay. Okay, perfect. 
that worked just that worked that worked good power low power is not low it's 50 percent all right so this is silver i should have steel somewhere there it is well 55 that's not going to be enough steel I mean, I can make a, a few frames with it, but not a whole lot. So let's go make some more steel while we're waiting. It's also 57 degrees Celsius in there. Oh, yeah, I, I need to come up with a proper cooling thing too. One, two, three. There we go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, no, this update is an insane update. I mean, it's really not like... I mean, for with atmospherics and stuff, it's huge. Because then you have to get completely redo your system, but... I can't, I mean, I kind of like that, you, that the gas is, like, will go from liquid and then back from liquid to gas. It's, that's kind of cool, and they can also freeze and go to solids, which is how... It, it's realistic, but the other system is so much more simple. So we have 19. How much steel did I have in here? Oh, so I have 40, 41. Because the trader platform is just going to be the pot, the bottom part. It's not going to have the top part for obvious reasons. Um, so 20, let's do 25. Plus eight, 32, 33. So that's 25 and then that'll, this will be two. So let's do, oh, well hi there. Apparently there was oxide just sitting in that. Well, that should cool down her pace slightly. Oh, that's too funny. Shows you how often I use that. Five twenty nine pieces of steel. Well, yeah, we'll just do twenty nine for steel sheets. All right, so let's go place these right now. So this just popped on. Oh, it's because this is on draw. That's why. Oh, no, this is turned off. Yeah, I turned that off. So our system is actually... Or it was at one point. Okay, so let's do... We're going to do one, two... Three, four, five, two, three, four, five, three, four. Three, four. 
Wait, did I miscalculate? Probably. Good thing I won't actually need them. I just made uh, eight just in case. Well, seven, technically. Okay. Perfect. So that'll be that, and then I just need a bunch of steel sheets to make the, uh, to finish our, uh, our frames here. And then this is gonna be where our, our trader's gonna be. Yeah, thanks for watching. I, I, I try to stream every day, but it's I'm not very consistent with it. I'm I'm uh, gonna kind of work on my schedule a little bit so it gets a little bit better. But yeah, okay. So we should be. I'm just gonna yeah. I'm just gonna weld these just full, just cause. Why not? For seven forty eight. All right, sounds good. Uh, let me know what you think um, about everything too. Okay, so let's swap out our, well, let's do this. All right, yeah, so we're gonna let that charge and then let's grab this and let's start welding. Man, I love this arc welder. Just uses battery, doesn't have to use any sort of uh, fuel. It's great. And then I think after I get this platform done, I'm probably gonna call this episode here. Um, I was extremely worried about the atmospherics, but putting the system in series instead of parallel definitely uh, helped. Oh, I need more uh, steel sheets. I've completely really forgot. So let's go grab the steel sheets and then we'll uh, probably end the episode after that. Let's turn all this stuff off. Um, but yeah, so we got most of our, well, we got this room all pressurized and everything um, for, well, sort of. Um, it's kind of cooking in there right now, but we did actually finish it off and get our our windows uh, set up and everything and our piping is all set up so that should be good there um, so yeah once I get the atmospheric systems a little bit more under control we'll work on our, on our hydroponics um, yeah basically I just put the system from parallel into series so it just goes from one filter to the next to the next to the next um, that does make sense now that I think about it with the pressure uh, system that uh, it relies on now. But let's go finish this up and then we should be good. I'm just going to do one steel sheet for these guys. Makes it look a little better in my opinion. Perfect. And then I also hooked up our um, I hooked up our coal generator here to our main power network, so it's also charging our batteries up here. So the solar powers are kind of redundant right now, but eventually, as my base expands, I'm going to need more and more power that this probably won't be able to keep up or. I'm not sure how much power that actually outputs, so it might. Um, but yeah, so we 
shouldn't have any power issues, at least for the foreseeable future, since I did hook our main power network up to our battery or our generator here. Um, between episodes, I am actually going to redo our iron silo and remove all 82 stacks of iron out of here. I'm actually not looking forward to that. Um, and then in the next episode, I'll probably just redo these silos. There's not a whole stuff in here, a whole lot of... Wow, that was everything. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of stuff in here, so I'll probably redo these silos. Well, actually, I'll, I only need to redo these two because these are the only ones that you actually smelt into ingots. These just re remain as they are. Um, but yeah, we did quite a bit this episode. I was actually kind of worried because we did have one explosion earlier. Uh, this pipe right here blew up because there was too much pressure in there, apparently. Um, but yeah, this has been a pretty interesting episode. So if you guys enjoyed watching, uh, thanks, and I will see you in the next one.